and they're off. In spiral, broke slowly. The Virgin Bets and Chariot Stakes, Group 1 for fillies and mares, along the Roly Mile, and towards the near side, Tamfana is going forward and will claim the early lead. She's kept company by Darnation right over towards the far side rail, and these two already have a break of a couple of lengths over See the Fire, who is racing in third position. In Spiral is now switched on, and she's taking a keen hold, racing alongside El Malka, and also keen over on the far side is Nashua, as they continue their journey along the Roly Mile and on now towards the final four and a half furlongs. So it is Tamfana to the near side, Darnation to the far side. Those are the first two. With the noseband, See the Fire is racing in third and then the other three in a line. In spiral to the near side, El Malka between fillies and over on the far side is Nashua. They've gone through halfway in the 59th running of the Sun Chariot Stakes and it is now Darnation and Sam James who have got a lead and that lead is three parts of a length over Tamfana and Colin Keane in second, a length and a half away. See the fire and Asheen Murphy in third. In spiral now begins to make ground for Robert Havlin towards the near side. El Malka comes under a drive and so too Nashua. They now race down into the dip inside the final quarter of a mile and Tamfana has taken the lead. Tamfana out in front by a length and a half. In spiral is in hot and persistent pursuit. See the fire back in third. El Malka tries to rally in fourth. Just over a half furlong to go. The three-year-old Tamfana Father, holding them all at bay, goes clear by two lengths. This is the new kid on the block. It is Tam Father who wins the Sun Chariot in spiral in second, followed home by See the Fire and El Malka. Welcome back to Newmarket. More reaction to Tam Fana's uh, wonderful success in the Sun Chariot. Colin, congratulations. This is a big win for you today. Your first British Group One. Yeah, uh, it's a place that's uh, been hard to win, England, for me, <laughs> unfortunately. But no, nice to break our duck today in Newmarket. Uh, del delighted to, to get the call up to ride the filly, unfortunately for us, obviously. But look, she's, she's very straightforward and she made our job very easy. She travels so lovely, doesn't she? Yeah, she's very uncomplicated. She, she pinged the gates, we rolled forward. and. Once something was happy to go, we slotted in behind them. You'd have loved maybe if they brought her a little bit further, but when we asked her, she found plenty. We were saying these races, these mile races, you know, top level, you need a, a filly or a colt that there's going to be a strong stare as well. I think so, yeah. I can I can understand why they, they did step the filly up and trip. Um, she, she, get, she, gets to the, she gets the mile well and got to the line strong, I should say, but I'd say a, a proper run mile is probably where you will see the best mm. of her because uh, we, we didn't go overly mad. She relaxes, she has a gear, but she's, she's just very straightforward. And David loves this, doesn't he? He's, uh, he's must be really good fun to ride for. Yeah, that's obviously that's my first time to ride yeah. for him or to meet him even. And it seemed like a great bunch of people yeah. that, that own her, so delighted for them all. And finally, um, he, he mentioned that you know she could be an arc filly next year. Yeah, I, I wouldn't rule it out. Um, she's, I'd say she's a filly that's only going to improve with, with age, uh, uncomplicated ground-wise, I'd imagine. And look, they've tried her over that trip before and she's ran well, so, so why not? Yeah, and you've produced as well. Congratulations. Nice to chat to you. Thank you. Cheers. Tamfana, a wonderful winner of the Sun Chariot. Uh, David Minicia, you're telling me you're relieved. Yes, I'm relieved because the, the, filly, um, the filly deserves it so much. Look, she, she should have won here uh, back, in, uh, back in May. She should have won the Guineas. Uh, was dead unlucky not to win that day. Then a bit unlucky in the Dian. Then I ran too far in the... Go I thought I messed up completely in July. I was like, what am I doing, really? And uh, she, she, she so deserved to, to, to win a group one. And, you know, the prep was perfect. The Atalanta the other day was perfect. She came out of this absolutely bouncing, sharpened up for it. And today she showed, uh, she showed what she can do when when she has a clear run and uh, it's magical yeah it was really magical and she's just such a sweet really strong traveling filly isn't she and i suppose with you you've had to take a bit of a pull yourself haven't you with, with her and you know plan b and c and d and talking about stepping back to the mile last time at sandown people yeah. were questioning you i mean the first thing colin said is i do understand why you stepped her up in trip because she's such, such a strong traveler you feel you feel that she's going to travel forever mm -hmm. for you and I think she will next year. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if, if uh, she was ending up running in the arc next year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, do you want to go up? Um, can I ask yes. you quickly about these owners? We'll, I'll walk with you. Of They're course. an incredible gang. Yeah, no, look, uh, it's, uh, it's a lovely bunch of people, uh, 25 of them here. 
Clive Washburn is actually part of the, the crew. But go, he go, the group go. In France, so uh, he couldn't be here. But, but it's great to see them. People. Amazing. Good luck. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.